Hi, my name is Jason. I work for Valley Honda. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the walk around that I do after someone purchases a vehicle. Um, obviously, when they're buying the car, I go over the general overview, things that are important to them. Uh, I don't get into the real specifics, but after they purchase their vehicle, then I get into how the nuts and bolts work. Uh, you know, what this button does, what that button does, mainly uh, just so someone doesn't rear end someone when they buy the car trying to figure out how to work the radio. So this is what I do uh, when you buy vehicles. Uh, uh, this particular vehicle is a Honda Civic Hybrid. I'll show you what's different about the hybrid, but in Civics in general, this will all be the same. Okay, starting from uh, the driver's side over, um, this button right here, this is your open and close vent. This vent and that vent over there are the only ones that have a manual control. The rest of the vents are controlled down here, so you can basically pick the view you want, where you want the flow to go, um, right here in the mode, face, face and feet, feet and defrost, defrost. This is your fan speed, I mean this is your temperature, and then this is your fan speed. And then you also have an auto setting, when you hit auto, it acts just like the thermostat in your house, it'll keep the car at 71 degrees. If you mess with the fan speed or you alter where it goes, you're no longer on automatic. This is your air conditioning on and off. This is your rear defrost. This is your front defrost. And it does turn on the AC. Uh, it acts like a dehumidifier, especially when it frosts up and there's interior moisture. Even with the heat on, it will help uh, reduce the moisture inside the car. And that's your on and off. Back over here. This is your econ button. You turn it on. Next to the one, you're going to see the econ mode button go on. And it'll show up there on this particular car. You can turn it on and off. And then right here, you have this button which controls the screens. Now, on a regular Civic, you only have four screens. On this one, you have more. There's your audio for turning your radio on and off. There's your range to empty. You'll notice when you drive a hybrid, uh, the bars will go left and right to tell you what kind of fuel economy, uh, how efficient you're driving, whether it's charging the battery or assisting, and then you'll get little leafs, and then you'll get little buds, and then you'll get a flower, and I think once you get five of those you'll eventually get a trophy although I've never seen one in my car this just tells you whether you're using the gas motor or the battery and whether it's assisting or charging depending on how hard you're accelerating and there's your clock and we're back to your radio volume up and down change your channels when you program in your favorite radio stations this will let you go through this will let you go through all your favorites and when you're listening to a CD or your iPod or your flash drive this will let you go through the tracks then this is volume up and down and then this is change your source from AM to FM to CD to auxiliary which is down there that's the low-tech aux plug-in and then down there is your USB plug-in and you can adjust through them all through the source button the menu button that's to adjust your settings from clock to vehicle information which would be your oil life and your fuel consumption your odometers your trips does it reset whenever I get gas Trip A, Trip B. You can adjust your clock from here. You can also adjust your clock right there. And then there's the customize your settings, which is your display setup, downloading wallpaper, pictures of the dogs, the kids, whatever, your welcome screen, what do you want to come up, the color theme, do you want that display there to be red, amber, gray, or blue? and then your language selection. And then the driving support setup, which is your forward collision. Part of this one 
it does have forward collision and you turn it on down there under LDW and if you depart your lane once it picks up the lines, lines in the road uh, if you start to drift it'll let you know that and if someone in front of you is braking hard before you are you can set it up that it'll alert you and you can do long normal or short now that's on the hybrid that's not on the regular civics your trip computer your lighting setup how long do you want lights to stay on um, how long do you want the headlights to stay on how long how dark does it have to be for them to come on that's all in here and then your door setups um, auto door lock auto door unlock uh, depending on you know do I want the doors to lock when I put it into gear do I want it to um, do it with vehicle speed do I want the doors to lock all the doors are just the drivers and then the auto door unlock when I put the car into park do I want the doors to unlock just the driver's door all the doors or when I physically take the key out of the ignition when I turn the ignition off actually or do I not want it to do that at all and then this is whether you want the uh, keyless lock acknowledgement on or off and then the security relock timer if you walk up to the car and unlock it but don't get in do you want it to relock after 30 60 or 90 seconds and that's all accessed from here that's your blue that's your pickup and hang up for your phone this is your call by voice I have another video on YouTube where you can actually see me use this I'm not going to go over that your horn is anywhere in here, your cruise buttons are here, you turn on the cruise, it'll say cruise main, and then you run it right off these controls, set, accelerate, cancel. But you got to turn this on to get any of this to work. Your tilt wheel on this particular car is down here, you pull this towards you, and then you can tilt and telescope the steering wheel depending on where you want it. And then when you get it where you like it, just push it forward. Power mirrors, flip it to the left, up, down, left, right, does this mirror, flip it to the right, does that mirror over there, and in the middle locks it. Back is unlocked for the doors, forward is lock, or you can just use the switch. Lock off for the windows if you don't want anybody else to be able to put their windows down. Yours will still work, but those won't. Just turn the little red light on. You have on the higher end Hondas, you have auto headlights. They come on as soon as it gets dark. Uh, on this particular car and most of the Hondas, you push it forward for high beams. You pull it towards you if you want to flash somebody. And then right turn signal, left turn signal. Your wipers. On this particular car, you have an intermittent and then you can adjust it from a little bit of rain to a lot of rain. And then you have low, high, and then pull it towards you to spray it. You also have a mist function here. You just flip it up one time, it'll swipe one time and shut off. Inside here, this is your select. So you can do your trip A, trip B miles on the car, push it in to reset it, push that button in to reset that. Storage obviously, cups, this little thing right here, if, you, if this battery is dead and you want to get this out of gear, you can't get this out of gear unless you have your foot on the brake and power to the car. So what you would do is pop this cap off, take your key, stick it down in that hole, and then you can take it out of park, put it in the neutral, and push it out of your garage, have somebody jump it for you. When you put this car into reverse, you're going to get the backup camera. This is the sides of the car. This is 10 feet off your bumper, 7 feet off your bumper, 5 feet off your bumper, and how close you can get and still open your trunk without hitting anything. And that comes on automatically in reverse. This armrest slides forward. So for short people, you get your armrest back. And then there's a thing right here to open it. 
and you have a second cell phone plug in there and you also have one right there your map lights push them to turn them on these ones back here are manual off all the time is to the passenger side on all the time is to the driver's side and the middle is on when you open the doors also this is the biggest cause that I found of dead batteries people forget and leave these on but the nice thing is you have a three-year warranty on your new Honda the battery fully replaced so don't waste your money at Sears getting a new battery two years from now and that's the inside stuff of a Civic